Scala answers, puckering, puckering her forehead. How? How? How do you? How do you pucker your forehead? We're back again to play some games. Dangerous fellows. <laughs> Scarlet is still trying. She's still trying me. She's still trying me. And I'm still playing as a weenie in this. Oh gosh. I'm not, I haven't started playing. I'm already irritated. Because I know my character is going to do something completely annoying. <laughs> and whatever, whatever. <laughs> Let's just start. Episode 7. Okay, let's start. Gosh. I laid down to catch a wink, but instead I was just rolling on the blanket. Judah wakes up from her nap and lightly taps me on my shoulder to see if I'm asleep. Come on, it's almost dinner time. Oh. I have forced myself up and rubbed my eyes. We chit chat about Julie's strange dreams on our way to the main classroom where everyone is. Hey. Hey, did you get some rest? He doesn't seem to get enough rest. Not really, I was just taking care of some things. Must be a lot of work being a leader, like what? I could have helped. You should have just got some rest. Like what? I could have helped. Like what? I could have helped. You should have told me. Nah, there's no need, but thanks. Lawrence smiles as he shakes his head. Sorry. I was just making I was just making a list of things to do. You're more than welcome to help me later. For now, let's get something to eat. Sounds like a plan. I lay out the buns on the desk, which the other guys put together to make a dinner table. I swear if Scarlett says anything to me, I'm going off. A cream bun. Oh, is he, he likes sweets. Eugene snatches one from the desk and starts complaining. <laughs> <laughs> he immediately starts complaining. I'm gonna take it, but I'm gonna complain about it still. You know how fast these things go bad, even in this cold weather? I think I think this is what gave me a stomach ache last time. Just shut up and eat up, man. Zion makes a face at Eugene as he chews on a piece of jerky. Eugene pouts. Should I say something? <laughs> I don't have I don't have diamonds. Mm, um, no, I don't I don't want to eat the bun. I'm sorry. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll try to get some more diamonds by uh by uh next time. Eugene pops up. Eugene pops open the wrapper, takes out the bun, and chops down. By the look on his face, I can tell the bun tastes fine. The dinner time the dinner time goes pretty well than I expected. Are you guys all finished? Done, bro. So I was just going over so I was just going over a few things during break. And one thing we should be all aware is that we're running out of food. <sighs> See? I warned you guys about this when we decided to take her in. Scarlet, please. <sighs> So starting tomorrow, we should go out to the town and begin a search for food again. Ethan. Lawrence looks around the room and continues. And it's getting pretty cold, which means we gotta think of ways to keep... And it's getting pretty cold, which means we gotta think of ways to keep us warm here. We could all stay in the same room. It will prevent our body temperature from going down. Bro, but I really like my privacy. Then you enjoy your privacy. Then you enjoy your privacy and freeze to death, man. I wish those heaters worked. Well, there's no use since the power is down. Do you think the power is down everywhere? I guess so. Scarlet answers, puckering, puckering her forehead. How? How? How do you? 
How are you poking your forehead? I think she's still upset about sharing the room. Don't worry, we've been doing fine without the power. We'll just focus on, on our search in and out of the school. Anything we find can help us. Well, we'll also keep trying with the key. The meeting goes on for a few more minutes. Knowing I won't be able to sleep, I linger at the edge of the desk. What are you still doing here? Um, just thinking about some stuff. And I still have not told anybody about the whole situation last episode where I got freaking chased by something. <laughs> I'm just thinking about some stuff. I don't know why I said it. I walked towards the window and lifted the curtain slightly. The nice sky over the silent city looks quite amazing. With all the lights out, I can't see any zombies around. And the entire city looks as if nothing ever happened. Harry sits on the desk next to me and we look out the window together. Then he breaks the silence. What seems to be bothering you so much? Tell him, please. Tell him. I turn around and look him in the eyes. He looks concerned. Uh... Harry's one of the nicest here. Maybe he'll believe me if I tell him. Harry, I think there's something in the school. Harry keeps listening to me calmly. I can tell you my words carefully. You know, I felt it when I was at the library. And this morning, I almost came face to face. And this morning, I almost came face to face with it. And upstairs, do you know where all the homerooms are? There was someone in the hallway too. I had to run from my left. I had to run for my left because it started chasing me. I hope I'm not scaring him by telling him all this. But if there's any sign of possible danger, I shouldn't keep it to myself for everyone to say, Yeah, you should have told him earlier when it happened. And I'm not entirely sure. Oh. But I think it wasn't a zombie. Alright, just hold it there. I get it. I understand what you're trying to say. I mean, you must have been so scared. I'll definitely let Lawrence know about this. If there's anything else I can do to help you, you have to let me know. If there's anything else I can do to help you, you have to let me know. Okay? I'm here for you. But you should never say anything that poses the slightest suspicion of any one of us. I wasn't. I'm just saying there was somebody there. Could be an intruder. I looked at Harry and nodded. I understand him. I understand him. Once you're suspicious of someone, you can never change your mind about that person. Sorry, I guess I wasn't being very thoughtful. No, it's okay. I mean, there's no need to apologize here. Harry hesitates for a second and starts talking quietly. Didn't anyone tell you about how we used to stay in the middle school building next door? Oh, yeah, Ethan did. When we, when we first got there, it was actually quite nice. There was many survivors and enough food. But then, one day, a fight broke out. Huh? That's not what Ethan told me. I heard you guys were attacked by zombies. Uh, that's later. There was a college guy with us, and he started being suspicious all the time. He was paranoid. Who was he suspicious of? It was one of us. Sorry, I can't reveal a name. I don't want you to judge or have any pre prejudice against that person. Who could it be? Lawrence? Could he have been suspicious of Lawrence? Yeah, I don't care. Oh, of course, I totally understand. Anyway, that just simply divided up people into cliques and people stopped getting along. I didn't get the whole thing, you know? It didn't do any good. I guess I kind of blamed him for people hating each on each other. We should have tried to work things out, but it was too late. The zombies broke in and attacked us. That's why so many people, you must have been, you must have been so devastated, paid their dues. It must have been difficult for you. It must have been difficult for you. <laughs> Stop saying it. I still can't believe it happened to us. All that time and effort we put into building our new home, it just went all down the drain like that. I felt so helpless. Harry looked so depressed. Aww. No, it wasn't your fault. And I completely understand why you're so sensitive about being suspicious. Yeah, thanks for understanding. And I'm sorry if I made you more nervous about being here. But don't you be afraid. 
You're not alone anymore, okay? Thanks. It was good to know. I gave him a smile and I felt much more relieved. I guess I've been too paranoid about everything and I was doubtful for no reason. Alright. We're in this together. Yeah, together. Speaking of which, do you want to do some? You want to do the search with me tomorrow? You mean go outside to school and search for food? Everyone will take turns like we do with the night watches. Doesn't matter who goes first. And after hearing your story, I feel like we should do a more careful search in the school. Yeah, I agree. So you've been to the library today, huh? Just hearing the word library brings me back the terrifying memories and gives me creeps. Uh, yeah. Harry smiles as he had noticed how I felt. We'll do a very thorough search, making sure there's nothing. How about we try the broadcast room tomorrow? If we can get the door open, we might find something useful. He's right. I doubt the film equipment would still work, but there should be something. That's a, that's a real good idea. Maybe we can find a microphone and yell for help. Someone might hear us. Harry laughs at my dry joke. I hope there... I hope there's a radio so we can get some news from the outside. Or if we could, get to play some music. Oh yeah, music would be nice. Only if y'all bump in that shiny. Sorry. I can't wait till we check it out. If I remember correct, it's really up. If I remember correct, it's right upstairs. Um, Harry grins mischievously. 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 Harry. How about we go now? Seriously? Yeah. Wow, I didn't expect him to be so eager about this. Or is he trying to help me ease my anxiety? But we gotta make it real quick. If anything, we have to return immediately. Sounds good. The fact that I'm not alone this time is somehow very comforting. I go up the stairs with Harry, feeling much more relaxed. I don't feel scared at all because Harry keeps me talkative on our way. The moonlight shines through the hallway, through the windows. To the walls. Sorry. Hey, it's right here. The broadcasting room is quite close to the staircase. The broadcasting room is quite close to the staircase. Yeah, I think that's it. Why don't you try the key? I took out the key and tried fitting it into the doorknob. Hmm? The key didn't fit, but the door doesn't look like it's locked. I put the key back in my pocket and lightly pushed the door. Whoosh. Yes, it worked. Good thing we tried. Oh no, it wasn't. The door was actually unlocked. You didn't know that? What? That can't be right. You already we've already checked all the doors multiple times when we first arrived here. Maybe it's unlocked after then. But everyone's supposed to report everything they know. We all promised each other. He's definitely not joking about this. He carefully steps inside. I can tell he's nervous. I take a quick glance at the hallway. I am sure there's nothing in the hallway and I followed Harry into the room. Hmm? It's surprisingly normal in here. The cameras and headsets are scattered around the room. It's too dark that I can't really see it much though. Do you think we need a camera? It might be fun it might be fun filming, but it's way too big. But it's really strange though. The door? No. It's too clean in here. I mean, it must have been locked for a while, right? Then there's only one explanation for this. Someone has been here. Who would, who would that be and why? You know what? Let's not tell the others about the unlocked door. Why not? Are you having trust issues now, Harry? I don't want any secrets, but I think it's best we keep this to ourselves for now. Harry scrunches up his eyes. This is definitely not a favorable situation. My suspicions are getting intensified again. The heck was that? <laughs> what was that? Just <laughs> I just got all those freaking diamonds. I had to give most of them away <laughs> to get these dang tickets. Um, what did I say? I'll do Harry because we talked about it. Tonight Harry and I tonight Harry and I are the night watchmen. It's not the most fun thing we do here, but it's one of our duties. 
After the others had left the classroom, Harry and I exchanged eye contact. After the others had left the classroom, Harry and I exchanged eye contact. That it's time for that it's time for us. We both walked out to the hallway. There isn't much to do actually. We'll just do a quick look around. Henry's right. All we have to do is just walk up and down the hallway and make sure all the windows are locked. We decided to take a short break on the stairs. The moonlight beams through the window and it shines on the hallway filled with darkness. I never expected anything like this to happen. Harry breaks the silence. I know, I couldn't even imagine. Ran into a zombie on the way to school. That's how I first faced them too. I guess I could say that we have something in common. I'm worried about my parents. Me too, but all we can do now is just pray that they're safe. By the way, I was surprised you were friends with Judy. We went to the same school. Which one? St. Michael's High School. Do you know? Oh yeah, I went to York High, High School. It's in your area. Quite a few of us here are actually from York High. And I think another person here is from St. Michael's too. It better not be Scarlet. I remember someone saying that. Oh, really? Who is it? Shoot. I'm trying to remember, but I can't. Sorry. Harry grins. That's alright. I guess it doesn't really matter. Did you like your school? Meh. It was alright. I hate to wake up in the morning, but I did love hanging out with my friends at school. Some of the teachers were nice, while some were terrible. It feels kind of weird talking about teachers in front of the teacher's lounge here. <laughs> anyway, how about you? I... I really like going to school. Wow, really? Yeah, I didn't have a typical... I didn't have a typical family. Uh-oh... I, I keep listening. Oh, I never meant to make you feel uncomfortable. No, it's okay. Please continue. It seems you really need someone to hear him out. My dad was not a good father. Aww. He would always yell at us and ask mom for money. He always... Oh, he also constantly abused us. And as a kid, there wasn't much to do. One day, I told my teacher, Mr. Land Landridge, Landridge. Mr. L I told my teacher about my dad. And what did he say? That it could happen to any family. I guess he didn't want to get involved. How irresponsible of him. My voice is raised. Harry continues telling the story. So I didn't really have any good memories of my dad. But lately, I've been thinking about him a lot. It's weird because I actually wish... Ow! He suddenly groans in pain. Oh my gosh, what's wrong? It's nothing. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. He nods and looks away. He definitely doesn't look good, but I can tell he doesn't want me to keep asking. Other than that, my life was pretty normal. I go to school, and after school, there was a part-time job. You had a part-time job? Yep. I worked at a cafe. Oh, I mean, I used to. He truly sounds sad about it. I'm sure he misses his old life. Seeing him as sad also breaks my heart. Harry, yeah? Do you think this is going to end soon? My question was pretty vague, but Harry soon gets what I mean. Of course, we live in 21st century. They'll definitely find a solution. Yeah, I hope they find a cure or a vaccine for this virus soon. Then everyone can go back to their normal lives and be happy again. I hope you're, I hope you're gonna be okay. He smiles gently, and I love that smile of his. But I'm not infected, I'm fine. That doesn't mean your life is. It's been tough for you as well. Yeah, it has. Having no idea about your future and suffer from constant fear of death. I hope you're gonna be fine too. Harry whispers thanks to me. Thanks. Well, it's not, it's not so bad. You mean here? I mean here right now. 
Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Does that mean he likes it here right now? I mean, that's what he literally just said. The streets outside are full, are full of zombies now. But at the same time, we're safe in here together. You know what? I think I know what you mean. It's not too bad here now. You're just copying what I said. Oh, it's a cute little fish. Ew. Ew. He then holds his gaze at me. Oh, I like that image. <laughs> He even holds his gaze at me. I can almost see myself reflected in his eyes. I think I'm gonna miss the people here when all this is over. We can stay in touch. What do you wanna do? Most what do you wanna do the most when it's all over? Mm, first I wanna eat something really delicious and gourmet. You know the food that's not just to fill your stomach? But that pleases both your eyes and your taste buds. Sounds good. Let's go find something really nice when we get out of here. Together? Oh, <laughs> she said it. <laughs> Just what I was thinking. Together? Oh, wait. I, I want to go back to the other image. That was cute. Yep, together. He shows me a big smile. His smile is as bright as the moonlight. It feels nice talking about these things. Shall we head back to the classroom? Yep. We have the stairs and start walking towards the classroom. The way back feels too short this time. Hi, here we go. Turn them up. Okay, that was that was. Oh, Harry just Harry just moved up in my uh in my favorites just because of that one image of him looking at me like that. <laughs> um. I don't really know who I want to go for in this game at all, but uh, Harry is definitely an option because of that. So hopefully next, net the next watch, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna do it with uh, Ethan because I saw that he is, his relationship level with me is kind of high compared to everybody else, and Eugene still ain't feeling me. But um, next episode we're gonna do episode eight. And I guess we're going to keep the music, the um, broadcasting room to ourselves until we find out more about who might be in the school. <laughs> and I do, I do want to know who he was talking about when he said somebody didn't trust another person that's currently with us. And I want to know why and who it was. But we'll worry about that next week. So subscribe, um, like, subscribe, comment, <laughs> and I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.